Welcome to Black Tie Media. I'm your host, Double D, coming at you once again with another banging video. Today, I'm coming to you to give you my personal opinion on the sleeping giant for the CU offense. I made a video a week ago on the sleeping giant for the CU defense, and it's no other than Shallow, a.k.a. CEO Headache Gang. And if you don't mind, go check that video out for me as I break it down to why I chose Shallow as a defensive side sleeping giant. Well, since I made a video for the defensive side, I said I might well pick an offensive player as well. So I started doing my research, and it looked like there are going to be multiple players to choose from from the offensive side. So I decided to make a Sleeping Giant series to get all the players covered. So I will be starting the series off with no other than Mr. Omarion Miller. Miller, a true freshman last season, he played in 10 games, starting in two against Arizona State and Oregon State. He had his record-breaking game against USC. He had seven catches, 197 yards, and one touchdown. He was also named Pac-12 Player of the Week, most receiving yards in the game by a Colorado freshman, most receiving yards by a Colorado player against a ranked opponent. Miller finished the season with 11 receptions, 234 yards, one touchdown, and average on the catch, 21. I remember Coach Prime said he wasn't expecting Miller to shine like that that week because he didn't really practice well that week. But Coach Prime said, we know he's capable now, and Miller also know he's capable. So the next few weeks, I was looking for him to shine again, but it never happened. I was rooting for him because I like rooting for the underdog. So after the USC game, he never really lived that buzz again. I don't really think it was his fault, though. It was because the old line started breaking down and the losses started coming in. So now that he got a season on his belt, he got a couple of starts, he got a record-breaking game, and he got that coach most, coach most strength and condition. He should be ready to go this upcoming season. Also, don't forget we got that new old line to help Shadur stay upright and in that pocket with that assassin on, and then we're going to be going to that pro-style offense, and so that ought to be running in his favor. Because one thing for sure, he could truly catch that ball. And also, we can't forget that hard no defense that we got to get them turnovers, them three and outs, and return the ball back to the offense. So Miller number should truly double this upcoming season. So this is why I'm naming him one of the offensive players, Sleeping Giant. He will continue to have a breakout season, in my opinion. I think once he gets started this season, it's going to be real consistent. And so y'all just uh, stay with me as I bring you more players that I'm thinking on the offensive side that should have a breakout season. So as y'all all know, this train is at the station loading up and getting ready to departure. So if you with me, as I believe, and you part of this uh, Coach Prime movement, get your popcorn ready, get your prime gear loaded, get your blenders on, you put your prime shoes on your feet, because the first destination in this, if we headed out to is that Big 12 championship game. And then we're going to come in and stop and reload real quick and add a few more items to keep on heading out. And then our final destination, we're going to end up at that national championship game. Yeah, I said it, that national championship game. Drop me a comment below if you think Omari on Miller will have a breakout season or who else do you think is a sleeping giant on that CU defense that you like. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching Black Tie Media. We out. Peace.